January 6th. Um, I don't, I don't remember a lot of the dream. I, there was a lot more and I woke up and I remember sitting with it for a little bit and then I went back to bed. But what I can remember I was sad. I was sad. I remember feeling sad. In most of the scenes, uh, uh, there was an element of people not getting it. People not getting it. They weren't getting it. And it made me feel sad that they weren't getting it. They weren't getting it. And these were people who there was um So I, I got invited to participate in this group, a meditation group. I haven't been able to attend because it co conflicts with my client's schedule. But I like, I get a copy of the recording after because there's an astrological forecast and I appreciate that. But there's meditation, and the meditation is, I think, I've only seen one video. But I get the impression that it's, it's meditation to, like, meditating and calling on the energy of the planets to work with the energy, really. So they're there in the dream. And, and there's um, other, there's kids, there's like my old co-workers, kids are there. And there's other kids there. And there's like army, like a group of, of uh, soldiers or, or a group of warriors. Oh. They are soldiers, and it's their graduation. Family members, I think. There's just this continued theme of them not getting it, of them not getting it. Like worry and sadness. And in one of the scenes, I'm in the water, I'm in this pool, but at the same time it's not a pool, it's like a, a lake or, or some body of water. And alligators, I think they're alligators, there's, an, there's a creature in there with me. But I'm feeding, I don't know if I'm feeding it meat. Or someone else is feeding meat. I don't know if it's an alligator. I don't remember if it. It's something that eats meat. It's something that eats meat. But I'm not afraid of being in the water with it. Like there's an element of fear, but at the same time, not being afraid. the element of fear is coming from other people there's other people that are afraid and they don't want to get in the water they don't want to get in the water and there's an element that I'm being told to um, being told 
to um like something about sharing like not to be careful who I share it with but to just be mindful or just this element that not, not everyone is gonna get it not everyone that was a feeling but then it, there was another scene at the end and it happened in the middle too where it's like it's a journey it's a journey and I was close to the end I can see a map there's a map and 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 there was this feeling of like being close to the end, but I was sad. I was sad. I was sad that it was coming to an end. Something. Something like. It didn't, it didn't make sense. Aside from this continued feeling of like, like there's an element of wanting to help, but people, they weren't getting, there was a feeling like they weren't getting it or they weren't. Not wanting to change, not wanting to change. It, it just, it, it didn't make sense. But anyways, I just want to record it. I'm so tired. I need to go back to sleep maybe a little bit. I just, I didn't, because I woke up already and I forgot part of it. I just Yubi, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learn to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us. Um, in whatever way we believe, we are embracing living our truth. This just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, t-shirt designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at um, inspired by this process and journey, um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is you know, right? <laughs> um, again, if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful, sometimes when we um, take that step and, and, and be vulnerable, you know, with, with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth, we realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were. And so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience it, and that you find some type of truth for yourself or, or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating, you know, just just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with, with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and